our topic today is about uh, some silly people you know silly and don't be offended even though I am here to offend everybody who care actually it's about offending people you know the topic today somehow uh, from time to time I receive a comment or email from people who want to school me or teach me how to talk and today I will share example for sure we will not share any private information about the person I feel those people you know they need help more than they are I'm not here to accuse them of anything but they need help and I will give you a sample of things I receive insulting deeming and cruelly attacking people is any Christ like This is how a Christian he sent me his support. Insulting, deeming, and cruelly attacking people is in Christ. First of all, you're an idiot. How I can be attacking people? I don't even know the people I'm talking to. I'm attacking the idea, the belief. And now I call you idiot because obviously you do not know the Bible. And we will show you. Because Jesus, he insulted people who they are like that. If we ask this person who is giving me a lecture about how to be Christ-like, did this person her ever heard that Jesus, he went to the temple and he flipped the tables on those who made the house of his father a market for buying and selling? And he gave them all the ugly description they deserve? And remember those they were Jews which means they believe in the true God they are not atheist they are not Muslims kissing black stone they are not Hindus they are not Buddhas so this is an example of some of those Christians when they want to remember Jesus and they want to be Christ-like Christ-like for them is just to go in the street and give hugs this is a Christ-like for them but this is absolutely not what Jesus taught. A person who knows the Bible really, and he speak about being Christ-like, he should know what Christ looked like first. When I talk about the look here, I'm talking about his teaching. You are not like the Muslims who care for the white Muhammad. I find I have virtually stopped listening now, or I turn off after a short while because Although you can sometimes be full of grace and kindness with the caller, most often I find you attacking them cruel. You see, here you see how, how shallow some people are. You just shoot yourself in the foot. So, the way I talk to people is the way they are. As an example, why I want to be so nice with some callers and I will not be so nice with some others? Did you ask yourself? Although, this is your words, not my words. You can sometimes be full of grace and kindness with the caller. But did you ask yourself why? Go watch it. You will see the guy is not playing the devil, trying his best to lie. We say the Quran, say the sun set in murky water. The guy, he says, it's, it says it's appeared to him. I said to him, show me where. Where it says the word, it appeared to him. Allah reporting how the sun set. So I repeat the question 1,000 times and then imagine if you are in my place and this person he keep repeating the lie. So what I will call him, you are a good man or I will say you are a liar or I will say you are the son of Muta which means follower of a sexual pleasure marriage. You have no dignity. So I'm kind with some people <clears throat> when they are kind to themselves. I don't need people to be kind to me. Don't be kind to me, I don't care. I'm here ready for the good and the bad. If I'm not qualified to talk to all kinds of people, then I should not be here. So, he himself, he noticed that I can be so kind, but the silly he did not ask himself why I can be so kind with some callers. I mean, am I taking a side of a caller and against other caller? I don't know both. 
but the more you try to lie, I appreciate honesty. And actually, honesty make my job difficult, more difficult, and I will tell you why. Let us say not more difficult, let us say not fun. Because when a Muslim he lie, like yesterday, we told him the hadith is speaking about the wives of Muhammad fighting about gifts, which is money anyway. The guy he says, well, it says gift, you are lying. And he says, I will show everybody that you are a donkey. Okay. Then we got him busted as usual. That is fun for me. Those liars, those liars are the best way to expose Islam because the, the you know, when the Bible says your father is, you know, all lies is from who? From the devil. Your father, the devil. So how we can prove to people that Islam belong to the devil is by the liars defending Islam. So when people, they notice that this Muslim is doing, he's so depressed to defend by lying, then Islam lose the ground so fast. Now, I have to be cruel and I have to be aggressive because if I give them hugs, they will, we will never be able to get them busted. Go and watch any videos of those is made by, like, so let, I will give you an example. James White. James White, he put somebody in the stage, like uh, a Muslim, you know. How would feel, he asked him, James White, how would feel to be a Muslim in America? This is the question. I mean, this guy is bringing a Muslim guest to his church to show them what Islam, and now he is trying to present Muslim as somebody he have no right in America. He's a poor, we have to support him, you know. How would feel to be a Muslim in America? And the guy from Pakistan, why you don't ask him how to feel to be Christian in Pakistan? Where people tortured, get killed, and the Muslims, he complained once they check my back. Look, look how horrible his life in America as a Muslim. They check, his, they check my back just because I'm an Arab. I'm not even a Muslim. Because of Islam, each time I go on an airplane, I have a special security check just because I'm a Middle Eastern. But James White, how would it feel to be a Muslim in America? And then the guy, he says, you know, I tell you, once they check my back, what a horrible discrimination. He found a piece of paper. But James White did not make one Muslim leave Islam. James White, he attacked Christianity. And he support Islam and he says whoever says Islam as all is terrorism he's a liar is that true absolutely false so if you are a person who like hugs and lying and liars go and watch James White I'm here fighting the devil himself and here I find it very stupid that you are sitting in your chair speaking to someone he might get killed for the, for what he say for what he do. And you are schooling that person who destroyed Islam. If you go right now and see, uh, as an example, if we ask Indonesian, which, which is the most harmful name for Islam in Indonesia? Eh, ask them. I'm not going to tell you, the Indonesian will tell you. You see, when Islam considers a person a threat, that means he is a threat to Islam. All those who give hugs, they are not a threat because simply they are not doing any harm to Islam. So those are annoying Christians, they are like bugs. Sorry to use the word, but as you know, I am a cruel. I use a cruel words. So instead of encouraging me, says we support you, we stand with you. Uh, no, a person risking his life, uh, uh, you know. Uh, no, you know they are cruel. You know, what, what, how I should deal with this religion? Religion of terrorism. And all those dummies don't understand that Islam made Muslims believe that a kindness is a sign of weakness. 
kindness is a sign of weakness so a muslim he tried to intimidate you so they try in the beginning they threat me they want to kill me etc and then they give up the guy he don't care obviously and really honestly i don't care if i live a day more or day less who care I'm a Christian, I'm a believer, I die today, I die tomorrow, I will die once, you cannot kill me twice. And death is coming. But the naive ones, who they come to us, speaking that we should be talking different to, okay, go and show me those who talk different to the Muslims, how much Islam they, how much Islam is you know, harmed by them, how much he exposed Islam. In order to expose a liar, you have to call him a liar. And in order to say a liar, you have to show the lies. And in order to show the lies, I have to show Muhammad the fornicator, Muhammad the child molester, Muhammad the son of Muta, Muhammad the donkey. If those words hurt you, I never use the, the F word to somebody. This is my words. So what is offending you? I use the word penis? Well, this is Islam. If Muhammad says, Allah will make your penis endless, what I should say, Allah will make your zucchini endless, so your majesty will not be offended. And suddenly you became a person who never heard of the word penis. Maybe you don't have one. Maybe you never saw one. Maybe in the country you live in, nobody have it. So what do those people mean by cruel? When I say stupidity is amazing, I mean it. Most often, I find you, you attack them cruel, uh, personal and high embarrassing. Uh, well, my friend, I'm here to make the person who called me to lie under high like embarrassing situation. And the idiot you do not notice that when millions of people later you know, watch those videos, they will notice one thing only. They will not care how cruel I am. They will care how much lies the person said. So if I was lying, that's what they will care for. If he was lying, that they will care for. Because we are here, we are not fighting box, physical boxing, you know. We are here to expose lies. Who is saying the truth? Who is saying lies? That's all. The language between is for the purpose of the topic. The silly you, you focus not in the topic, you focus in how we do the topic. But anyone who have little brain, he will understand, in order to reach that point where we force a liar to be exposed, we have to go through a process. He's a liar. He will keep jumping from corner to corner. And I have a request for people who watch us here. Please don't come here if you are a person don't like me the way I talk. I never said to you I'm a priest or I'm a bishop. I never said to you I am even Christ-like. You don't like the way I talk, my friend, just get out. Uh, let me use the cruel word, get lost. Literally, get lost. If you are truly saved by his blood, look now he is a question if I am truly saved or not. His majesty, he is God now. And spiritually, alive to God, you are representative of Yeshua to all those. Okay, hold on, hold on. You see this guy, obviously, he never heard what Yeshua said. Let me give you a lesson to the silly people like you. Hypocrite. Christians, you are no Christian. This is Matthew chapter 23. So if I decide to use the word Jesus used, I don't think you are going to say to me, I'm not being nice. I think you will basically say to me, this guy is really nice now, right? I mean, the holy chapter is an insult. You fool. <laughs> You fool and blind. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you see that? You see the idiot? 
Shall I say you fool? No, you cannot say that. You are being cruel. Okay, hold on. I will not use fool. Blind. No, don't say blind. Don't say blind. Okay, well, let us see something else. Uh, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Okay, so choose for me a verse you think it's good to use from now on. What do you think? Hypocrites. Should I use verse number 23? What do you think? Verse number 23, that look good. For me, maybe it doesn't look good for you because Jesus obviously is being cruel. He is speaking to Rabbi, the master of law. What he called them? Hypocrites. What hypocrites mean? Do you know what hypocrites mean? When you say to somebody hypocrite, you strip him from everything. You strip him from his dignity. He is not legitimate no more. From his belief. From what he say, loud, because he do the opposite. You strip him from being God follower. Simply, the person became a demon when you is a hypocrite. He's evil, he is the devil himself. And Jesus, not only he called them hypocrite, he explained to them why. And this is what I do. But the silly you asking me to speak like Jesus. Maybe verse number 24 will be will do to you. You hypocrite, you guided of uh, uh, the, the blind, like the blinded who they are claiming to be the guidance. You take a mosquito from your dish, but you swallow the camel. Like we don't see the camel, where is the camel? We do not see the camel. There was a camel, we saw the mosquito. We to you, scribe and Pharisees, hypocrites. That is Jesus' word. You hypocrite people, you clean around the cup, but inside the cup, inside the dish is so dirty, filthy. And this is what the hypocrite shakes they do. They want to show you that they are doing evolution. They pray in the corners. Actually, even Jesus spoke about them. They pray in the corners. He said, don't be the same as those hypocrites who pray in the corners. When you pray, go to your... So you will see that all what Jesus is saying is insulting. Because who is the one who's going to be insulted when Jesus says, don't be the same as those hypocrites who pray in the corners? The one who will be insulted is those who pray in the corners. So, did Jesus mean to say so? Yes, absolutely. Is he aware that he is insulting them? Is he aware that they are hearing him? Sure. But your majesty is saying to me, be like Christ, Christ-like. Huh? They, fill of, they are full of filth. Inside out. But they wear nice clothing. They claim that they are practicing the law. They claim that they are religious. They grow their beard. They wear the rabbi hat or the rabbi uh, whatever you know, cover. And then people show respect to them. And people give them money. And people treat them like kings. But in reality, they are the biggest scam ever. Or maybe I should say, or talk, like uh, verse number 29. Because maybe 27 is not, not, not nice, you know. I will be nicer. What about 29? Or uh, 28? Huh? So what do, what those people mean when I am being cruel? 
Oh, maybe I should from now on call liars snakes. Because that will be nicer, I guess. Aren't you asking me to be Christ-like? So those dummy, I don't want to say this person, he have an intention to be a bad person, but I want to say he is without intention. He is a dummy. He do not know his book. Claim he called me, but my Skype is not open. Do you think I am, you know, even Allah, he have to come every third part of the night to receive messages. Even Allah himself, he cannot receive your messages all day long. You have to come in the third part of the night to the lowest heaven. So the idiot who says he's calling me, he's calling me when my Skype is closed. I mean, doesn't even show in your side that he is offline. This is just another dummy. I'm not in Pal Talk. I am not in Skype now. Don't repeat yourself. Otherwise, I will block you, please. And don't tell me, guys, there is a person want to call you. One time, and that's enough. You see, people are excited. They want to see a fight. Nobody is listening. How important what we are saying. All what they care for, somebody want to call me, and then we will get him busted. This is their joy. I'm here for a different reason. I'm here to get them busted, not because I enjoy getting them busted, but I enjoy getting the shaitan, the Satan busted. We are reading for them the Bible, we are explaining the Bible, and all what they care, there's a guy, his name is Fuzzy, he wanna fuzz me. Just wait for your time, Fuzzy. You will be fuzzed. You will be fuzzed as much as you want. We will fuzzes you, you know. We will make a website for you, like www.fuzzme.com. I mean, your God, Allah Himself, don't dare to come to me. You, yeah. So, shall I use the language of Jesus, and that will make some of those who call themselves Christians happy? Hmm? Ye serpent, ye generation of vibers. Shall I use that? Maybe this person, he never heard of this chapter. You don't. I mean, how he will hear it? They are deaf. They are blind. Like when you ask them, did you hear that Jesus says the one who don't have a sword go and buy one? They says, where? Well, Jesus never say that. You know, those kind of Christians, they remind me of something real happening in my life. We used to do hiking. This is a long time ago when I was, you know, before I became 80, I used to be young, you know. And then we used to do hiking. And I'm the only one who have a gun with him. For me, I like to have a gun with me. I mean, wherever I go, this is my, my business. But for those Christians, this is not nice. I mean, you are a Christian. You should not have a gun. But come on. This is how they understand Christianity. A Christian person don't carry a gun. But isn't Peter was carrying a sword? I mean, isn't it even documented in the Bible? Isn't it Jesus says, the one who don't have a sword, go and buy one? Okay. So we go. You know, and each time I go, I see in their look how upset they are from me having the gun. And even they don't even shy to say, why you bring it with you? Why somebody coming for hiking need a gun? Why you do that? I say, this is my business. So always they insult me because I have a gun. Until one day, there was a huge storm, rain, and we start hearing the, the wolves the beast getting close to us suddenly all those amazing beautiful Christians they come to me and says your gun is with you right I said yeah but I have one bullet I was joking you know they said only one bullet why one bullet from people who are insulting me each time we go with them they insult me for carrying a gun 
suddenly those who don't like guns, who hate guns, they were asking me, do you have a gun? Your gun with you, right? You have your gun with you? I say, yeah, but I have one bullet to protect myself. And you should see them. They are gathering around me, even holding me because they are getting so close. I said, I cannot even shoot. Leave it with my hands. How I can shoot at them? So they make fun of you for doing the right thing. After that, each time we go hiking, they say, you got your gun with you, right? I said, yeah. I said, good, good, good. <laughs> Potatoes. Potatoes. Hypocrites. Why if somebody here, you know, carry a gun, he's a bad person? Who said so? It's not guns who kill people, it's people who kill people. If you are a good person, the gun can be used for good. A killer criminal, he can kill by his bare hands. You do not need a gun to kill. If you are a criminal, you can kill by a rock, you can kill by a knife, you can kill by a car, you can kill by anything. And if you're the one, your victim is weak, you can kill him by your bare hands. Stupidity is amazing. So, this is my pain with some Christians who come to me from time to time and they give me a speeches. So I say to those Christians, do me a favor, don't come here. You are a good person. And a good person like you, you should not be listening to someone like me. You're a wonderful person. You're a person who follow God, obviously. All right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, what what you can say? I mean, this, they are not only like they don't like. Just leave. Just go. You are the good guy. You don't fit here, my friend. Please go. Because you don't fit here. A person like you should not be here. Why a person, why a decent person, he will be here? Maybe I should go to John chapter 8. And from now on, I say, your father, the devil. You, you are of your father, the devil. I think that is a nice sentence. It's not a cruel. I mean, think about it. You say to a human being, you are of your father, the devil. Hmm, how nice. But now he will say to you, well, this is Jesus saying that for those who they are liars. I'm saying the same for those who they are liars. I do not even say to them, your father is the devil. You are a murderer. Jesus said, you are what? You are a murderer like your father. Islam teach him murdering people with no mercy. I saw in the news a kid, he is, I don't know, 11, 12 years old, is going to face this death penalty for he curse Allah. Or he, he said something against the religion. 12 years old as a kid. I mean, look, listen, if God, he punished the kid, I would say, okay, God, he made him, God, he take him, no problem. No, they will kill him. 